For our prayers this morning, we'll be using a tool given to us by Pope Francis called the Five Finger Prayer. After each prayer, we will give a moment of silence so that you can offer up your own prayers for that topic. We begin with our thumb. Our thumb is the closest finger to us and it reminds us of those who are closest to us. Let us pray. Jesus, we thank you that Christmas is often a time spent with loved ones. Lord, although we may not have spent as much time as we would have hoped for this year, help us to be grateful of those you have placed in our lives. We pray for those whom this Christmas may have been a challenging time. We pray that you give those who we love peace. Next is our index finger. We remember those who teach, instruct and heal us. Thank you for all the wonderful teachers in our congregation and in the wider community who have been working really hard for our children during the pandemic. May they enjoy this holiday and take the well-deserved rest that they need before the next term begins. We thank you also for the leaders of our church who teach us week by week how to become more like you. May you lead the right person to us who will become the next Vicar of HD. Would you prepare them for this new beginning? And Lord, we also thank you for all those who are working really hard for our well-being around this time. For all the NHS workers who dedicate so much of their time to heal us and help us. Would you give them the energy and strength that only you can provide to keep going and to do the work that you have called them to do? Next is our middle finger, our tallest finger. It helps us remind us of those who are in authority. Jesus, we thank you for the provision of leaders, both here locally in Cambridge, nationally in the UK and internationally. We pray for those who make key decisions that affect the lives of many, whether that be politically or in matters of faith. We ask for you to give those in privileged positions of authority, wisdom, to govern diligently and fairly. Next is our ring finger, which is also the weakest finger, which reminds us of those who are weakest. We pray for those who are the most vulnerable, vulnerable among us, for the elderly in care homes, for the ill who cannot be treated due to lack of resources, those who have lost their jobs, and those who have lost others during this pandemic. God, would you come near these people and hold them up? Give them peace and your strength to be able to cope with whatever situation they are going through. Thank you, Jesus, that you are a healer and a provider. We pray that even the weakest among us would know just how much you care and would be comforted by your love. And finally, our little finger, the smallest, but by no means not important. This reminds us of ourselves. Jesus, we thank you for the reminder today of the ways in which our lives are forever changed in our encounter with you. Help us to continue to grow in favour and wisdom. We ask that as we step into a new year, we will continually be shaped by your good news and that we may begin to live, love and look like you, our Saviour Jesus Christ. We ask all of this in your precious name. Amen.
Well, we've come to the end of our service this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be back next Sunday at 10.30 on site and online. It'd be great to see you there. Let me end by praying that the Lord would bless us in this coming uh, week and year. And so may the blessing of God, who is almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest upon us today, this week, and this year. Amen. Amen. Have a wonderful week, a happy new year, and we'll see you next Sunday.